Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 97, how to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. If you're a young gun, $1,000 a day may not be enough for you. That is where you simply increase your position size. However, at the same time, never forgetting our money management rules. Now what I teach in these sessions, if you're new to my channel or new to my YouTube videos, you can apply to futures, forex or stocks. Now in today's session, we're going to be looking at a different market. So normally I'd be looking at the NQ or trading the NQ. I used to call the NQ the nasty NAS, <laughs> the nasty NASDAQ, because it can be very, very flighty at times. However, I've attempted to reframe it to the nifty NAS, change my mindset a wee bit. However, at times it is very, very whippy and fast, and there are some other really good alternatives, such as the Russell and or the Dow. Uh, both of those, as is the NQ, are $5 a tick. Now, unlike the NASDAQ, which is $20 a point, and there are five ticks to a point, with the Russell and the YM, it's a straight $5 a tick or $5 a point. Now, you still get some really good daily moves, but those markets are a lot slower. You just don't get quite the trading range. Now, the volume is also a lot lower, but I'm going to show you this in a moment because I'm also going to be showing you how to day trade these markets. Now, today I've also got something special I'm doing. That is, you're going to be, uh, I'm going to be reviewing the trades I took on what we call the overlay chart. And the overlay chart really is a game changer for newer struggling uh, traders because it can really help you greatly in identifying uh, scalping and day trading opportunities all on the one screen. So rather than having multiple screens open, say looking at anchor charts on other screens, you can focus on the one screen. But I'm going to show you that uh, more of that in a moment. So stick around because towards the end of the session, we will be going to the charts themselves where I'll be walking you through step by step exactly what I'm looking for. Now let's start with the disclaimer. Traders, we do know there's a risk in trading. Don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Apparently I'm told I really should be saying um, you won't always, uh, I've been day trading now for 28 years, so uh, I don't expect to be achieving my results overnight. In fact, I'm quite often asked by traders, you know, how long should I be allowing to really pick up the setups and to be really trading profitably? Traders, I'm going to tell you something that most traders won't tell you, or most educators. Uh, it's really going to take you 90 to 180 days. If you're not prepared for that, day trading is probably not going to work for you. This is not a get rich scheme. It's a get rich slowly business that is you can get very very wealthy day trading however you've got to give yourself some time it's not rocket science but you've got to learn the patterns but moving right along now you will see that I use a number of indicators now you've got pre pure price action uh, traders out there but if you're a new or a struggling trader Indicators can certainly give you that head start because they're a great confirmation tool. And you've also got, as you'll see today, there are indicators that are predictive indicators. That is, they certainly increase the probabilities of a successful trade because so many traders trade them. But more on that when we get to those. So I mentioned here that we're going to be looking at the overlay chart. Now, the overlay chart simply is where I've taken a number of indicators with my custom settings from what I call the anchor chart one and I've overlaid them in a separate window on my trading chart. Now in this particular case this is a three tick Russell. Now with the Russell and Dow and actually I'm jumping ahead there I've got that down there you can also trade the micro but here you can see that um, we've got my trigger line from my anchor chart trending down and so we really want to take any trade in the direction of that trigger line however at the same time we need to be aware of like down here see those lines there we've got the current days low current days open and yesterday's close 
all of these levels become what we call price magnets or predictive points what you can be doing and this is my one to one indicator here and you can see the white paint bar that's my super scalper so you've got a couple of different type of entry points that you could be taking now we look at the uh, the uh, the sorry the NQ I'd be trading a five tick NQ now let me say this before any experienced trader here says oh you can't trade that during the New York session you're absolutely correct you've got to dramatically increase the time frame now I love teaching traders how to trade the Globex session and the New York session but when you're trading the New York session you're going to be trading a much higher time frame however if you get home from work at 6 p.m. Eastern we've now got what we call the Globex session which opens there's some fantastic trading opportunities right through to the next day so the market closes at 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time reset the computers and it reopens yes you've got lower volume however these are very tradable and what it also does trade is it gives you more thinking time but if you were say trading during New York you'd be up there you'd have a 12 tick NQ plus it's really pumping in fact I call particularly the open of the New York session the killing field so you've got to be very very careful but after hours there's some great trading opportunities now look at my trigger line here I'm in an uptrend uh, that for members that are watching this this is a, uh, a, a 2 a 2b just there that is a 2b uh, you can see there on the way down we've got a slingshot uh, that would have been a great uh, I would say probably a 2d as well now when we get to the charts you'll see more of these than exactly what I mean uh, by that traders but traders uh, this is about making money now just so you know I call these steps steps now these are Renko bricks now when I say I've got a five tick NQ or a three tick that means from the height of the low of each of these bricks that's five ticks or in this case $25 however where you got these steps just here each step then is worth two ticks is I won't get right into it now is worth ten dollars it's perhaps some um, I'll explain more if I remember when we get to the live charts but a bit beyond today's video uh, but one thing easy to learn once you have it explained all right very very quick advertisement uh, if you haven't already downloaded my ebook the truth about day trading please go to the link below now you will also see me uh, display and I may as well quickly just flash it up here my compound sheet which uh, I'll explain as we get closer you can also click the description link down below and get hold of this as well as uh, a little training video I've recorded how to use that make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up please which keeps me motivated in producing these all right and one minute and we'll be through the advertisement now if you like what you see which if you don't there's <laughs> I don't know what to say to you uh, is that these trading trading strategies work traders if it was something better I'd show you in other words for those that know me and have seen my library and whatever I've been day trading for 28 years now I've invested literally hundreds of thousands of dollars into research development trading system strategies now you may be sitting back and thinking well what does that mean to me well it means a hell of a lot because if there's an indicator that works I would tell you about it and that is as Gan famously said there's nothing new under the Sun and virtually every single indicator out there is what we call a derivative of price so the seriously traders there's very little out there and I can show you some fantastic indicators that are free and you can create on any trading platform now bottom line is for $197 you get all of my indicators over 200 hours of online videos is over 35 PowerPoints as my members say my Google Drive and the new members area we've got a new members area about to launch is an absolute gold mine you get the works for only $197 now on top of that I have a special offer where for uh, seven or eight years now I've been running a live trading room and also a coaching room now 
with my coaching room which is really designed for traders that are new to my system or, or traders that are struggling or even experienced traders that want to learn my setup setups I give you one month free access to my uh, live coaching room so every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 to 8 p.m. I run US time I run live uh, coaching sessions they are recorded if you can't attend so you're basically getting 16 hours of private group coaching uh, this comprehensive uh, downloadable handouts traders there's nothing else out there like this and that's all included for your first month now after month one if you want to continue you drop me an email and say Ray I'd like to continue with this now uh, email me directly because on my website it's 297 a month for the coaching but you can gain access at 97 so you the this in the description link below you can join traders let's now get into this now first of all most of you that see my videos I talk about the income potential of day trading but I also talk about having realistic targets why as you gain confidence you're also gaining competence uh, and it makes trading so much easier so rather than having an unrealistic goal of you know, earning 20% per day on your money let's consider earning only $100 a day per contract so I would state for the majority of a population globally five thousand dollars a week would be a game changer how do you achieve that trade 10 contracts at only one hundred dollars a day now you're going to see with the setups on the screen here how I do that and how you can do that as you gain experience you can target your three to five hundred dollars a day per contract now if you're a young gun certainly you might want to be trading 20 or 30 contracts but if you're an old dog like me uh, you know five to ten contracts mighty fine you can have a fantastic income and you're not tied to your computer uh, all day every day so you've got those sort of scalpers like myself I really want to get in get out and wrap it up but then you'll be have others that are perhaps a, a happier trading maybe a, a longer time frame but this is the true potential as you're going to see now in today's example I'm going to be trading well actually I've already traded it but you're going to be seeing the 10 trades I took on the Russell now the Russell is five dollars per tick okay so here a target of one hundred dollars per contract now all of that was over and done with within 10 minutes now this is rather a challenging area because you'll see on the charts this is what I call a double divergence I had a great 2d up here then I had it for members watching I had a t20-1 however I went for a larger target uh, that's right I kept I stayed in that one that's right I was waiting for an exit at the pivot but there was another reason and if I forget to bring it up and this is for members that are watching this you would see here on the anchor chart one the 89 EMA was down here so I was targeting not only the pivot but the 89 EMA so I then added to my position now this come up within one tick of stopping me out and this is where when I do enter a trade I like to have my stop one tick above one tick above or one tick below one tick above one tick below that that generally works really well but I want you to also notice here excluding the divergence trade here look at my trigger line on the way down and look at my short term hook here okay and you'll see this more in a moment just how powerful this really is in other words if you're scalping like here uh, is it in the direction of the trigger line now here it's black I'm looking for shorts here it's white I'm looking for longs and the short term trigger line also confirms the trade now when you know exactly how these work so many experienced traders traders will go why didn't I think of that it's just so straightforward and it's it's just the pattern that sets up but kicks butt now moving on here uh, and I try to keep my videos to 30 minutes look we might go 40 minutes we'll just see how we go here and, and you know my marketing manager says uh, 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 right keep your videos to 10 15 minutes but how can I get the information to you that you need to know 
to make an informed decision on whether day trading is for you or whether what I teach is really worthwhile so that's why I go the extra time so here if we look at this is the here are the markets that I'm interested in each and every day so the the uh, the YM the Dow here Typic, this is a fairly typical day it'd be 120 to 150,000 contracts would trade a day so we've got plenty of volume and same on the Russell okay and I tend to find the Russell is a calmer market and you've got a good 20 25 percent greater volume uh, in any given day now here I talk about trading these markets and realistically you need between two and three thousand dollars to trade the Russell or the YM don't be conned by and actually I won't say con but where your broker says you only need have a day trading margin of five hundred dollars or three hundred or whatever it is well that just doesn't work because if you have a have a loss of forty or fifty dollars per contract you know you're losing five six percent of your account so the reality is to day trade correctly you need to have between two and three thousand dollars now the beautiful part is you can start on the micro where you only need two to three hundred dollars and I'll show you the effects of starting there and building and how quickly you can get here the shame of it is though most traders don't want to hear this they want to get rich quick but they never do they wonder why they keep blowing their account but within 12 weeks you're now up to trading these markets with the proper account size so you can start with a small account and even if you've got a large account why not cut your teeth here on the mini account on the micros and build now over here if you're trading the NQ realistically you need three and a half to four thousand why because of the volatility the tick value is the same all of these three are uh, down here sorry are five dollars a tick these are 50 cents a tick but you've got much greater volatility so let's look at a realistic trading plan because I'm going to be showing you how to trade these markets so let's talk about realistic targets okay so here if you've got a goal okay people with goals succeed because they know where they're going but I'm not going to take too long on this now for members that watch my videos all the time this is based upon the Russell and the Dow so it's a bit different so stick around and listen to what I have to say here now first of all let's just say here you might have two and a half five ten twenty thousand dollars but what if we kick you off sorry that was my air condition of that beep I was turning off let's just say here we start you off on three or you start with a three hundred dollar account now you only need 250 with what I'm about to show you however on the micro let's just assume you fluff up a few trades etc now what it also means that if you have a 10 tick stop loss plus the commission you're only going to lose around six dollars fifty okay now we go for fifteen dollars a day which is what we which is 30 ticks a day okay within 11 weeks your account size is now 2700 and you're now ready to roll over to the big contract and for those that are not familiar with my spreadsheet which you can download here we're only increasing our contracts each time we double our money so here we need 600 to go to two we need 900 to go to three this is how you do it this is the correct way of trading okay so we're using the markets money now what you might find is if you've got the funds available after 10 weeks you beauty I've got this down Pat I really know what I'm doing you might then jump straight to one or two major contracts but don't rush it the markets gonna be here next week next month next year now once we've got those funds there 2700 we now roll over to the big contract where we can have a little less well 10% of the value will be 3,000 but we can drop that down a wee bit down to two and a half thousand and based upon here 150 a day what that means is here within 12 weeks I've got the potential there of earning my 12 grand a week and my account size is 49,000 now here that's based upon 150 a day which is 30 ticks a day now 
what if you only went for 20 ticks a day you're being really conservative you say yeah you might be an older gentleman or lady and you think well you know what I just want to get in there and just really get in get out wrap it up for the day trading the way that I teach you two and a half thousand one hundred a day you can see where you are in 19 weeks if you started off with two and a half thousand that's not a bad daily income now I do have to say this now this is trading 23 lots when you trade 23 contracts you've got no problem at all after hours with 10 lots 23 you're going to get some slippage etc at times so it's you know you, you if you're trading during New York that's a walk in the park so if you're a 10 lot trader and you know if you're going for your 150 200 a day beauty there's your 2,000 a day 1500 to 2000 but I just want to be really straight with you there that the greater like here trading 100 lots yep you got an income which is fantastic 50,000 a week but you realistically you're going to be doing that during the New York hours hope that doesn't complicate what I'm trying to explain here I just want you to understand how to really day trade here now we go from 20 ticks a day up to 30 now we're really starting to cook it we're really starting to cook with gas okay so here 12 weeks 12,000 a week we're up to 50,000 and for the serious traders that want to really put the time and effort in that is to be trading maybe three hours a day I'm being conservative with the time input I know what some experienced traders are going to say if you say this you haven't been listening to me 200 in in the in the New York session you can do that in half an hour yes however you're not going to get away and be able to trade a three tick Renko that time of day so leading up to probably around 7 8 a.m. Eastern yes you can just get away with then but you're gonna to have to increase the time frame however if you're trading a couple of hours in the evening or early in the morning look where you are in eight weeks okay a sort of income this trade is, is the true potential so if you're going for your 150 day which is an extremely uh, realistic target you start off with 300 allowing a wee bit more for micros okay based on 1500 a day now remember the micros are 10% of the value 11 weeks we're going to jump up based and then we go to 150 a day which is 10 times that which is the big contract it's taken us 23 weeks to get to a potential income thereof and I've got to say potential legally 10,000 a week it's taken you 23 weeks this is the true potential of day trading so this is why it's critical you approach it professionally and correctly from day one now what you'll also see me trade and you or when I say trade use of my trading is anchor charts an anchor chart is a higher time frame the reason we use that is anchor charts is exactly here an anchor chart will basically is um, and let me just without getting too complicated here the markets are fractal in nature in in nature meaning uh, it's like a snowflake if you were to put a snowflake under a microscope you'd see that there's patterns within patterns within patterns the pattern you see on an entry chart will appear on an anchor chart the exact type of pattern just in a higher time frame so this is called a t12 and so we get t12s on the entry chart but you get them on your anchor charts as well just in a larger version but if you see the market like your entry chart and for members watching this this is also a t3 of course but if you see a big overshoot like this hmm, what do I do here look at our anchor chart we've got a t12 set up are we going to take this every day of the week so we use anchor charts uh, if you like the anchor charts are the uh, the tide our entry charts are the waves so as I get to the charts in one moment there are some critical things that we need to consider each and every day and we need to be checking as we trade because sometimes these levels are just off screen now we don't have time in this video for me to break each of these down but once you attend my training and you understand these these are really straightforward within half an hour in each of these aha uh -huh, wow I understand see a lot of these are you know as I mentioned most indicators are predicated upon 
uh, price action already plotting these are predictive indicators why because so many of us trade into these levels we know that they become a self-fulfilling prophecy so we've got pivot levels the prior days open high low and closed levels the 89 and 200 EMAs especially on your anchor chart it's very powerful intraday swing highs and lows that is as the market breathes in and out those swings will quite often become targets and the current days open high and low particularly the high and low so let's get to the charts and let me walk you through a few things here so a little further along we're going to come across these trades uh, that I took only three of them here hit my target that's it thank you very much what we can see here is a three tick Renko now times it'll pick up now here this is in other words the market will increase its speed so over here that was at 128 a.m. right through to 141 so it's sort of what's that just say 15 minutes a price action now here when we get a pullback like this do I take this trade if you're using the overlay chart see the trigger line the black line here we're looking for shorts in the direction of that okay so here for members watching this this is a t20-1 we're going to trade in the direction of that thank you very much uh, over here we do get a bit of a, a hook above that and you can see here my trigger line down here I'm not going to give you all my little trade secrets exactly how these two lines work I'm going to give you most but there's a couple of things that that uh, uh, um, kick butt and they just work brilliantly and every trader in my opinion needs them but anyway members you know what these are so let's have a look at the anchor chart but I am going to share with you still some incredibly valuable information as I do in every video look at this just there see here on your entry chart you've shot past here your 200 your 89 that's a, a pivot there look over on your anchor chart one what have you got just there that's a t12 we're bouncing off the anchor chart 200 EMA let's just go along a little further bang I've got another one you can see here traders that we have sideways price action but yet on the high time frame we still have a fantastic downtrend that is the 200 is trending down t12s are a very high probability trade so let's keep going along so we come along here now what do we now do we're now breaking out of this trading range now one of the most challenging things for a trader is when do you know and by the way these down here with t12s back in the in the opposite direction a little harder to trade because when you've got both your 89 and EMA sideways as you do here on now on your anchor chart you know which one what do we do if it's called a trading range yes you can trade ranges but much more difficult now getting back over here when you're in a range like this how do we know when we've broken out of a range well the footprints to a trend are when we make higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs now what I've done here is I've now made a slightly higher high on let's see if we get a trade entry here now just there so just there we've got our first trade entry now it's identified here by my 121 and a couple of candles along here you would have had then my white paint bar that's the super scalp so we've got two entry uh, signals right there in the direction of a higher time frame thank you very much now remember before traders I said to, to net 150 a day you need 30 ticks each one of these little steps here Oh, and you may be wondering why that gap it's because of the overlay chart okay you won't see that on a normal entry chart it's because I've overlaid I've got two time frames running 
and one thing I failed to say look at my short term trigger line and look at the long term and my long term stochastic on the higher time frame they're screaming take this trade take this trade now back on this each one of these little steps here is worth five dollars okay so there uh, you know what have you you could actually have wrapped up that's a good 25 ticks there uh, but I do have to tell you this I'm a scalper I work on a fixed target personally okay so I like to get in get out get paid you won't see me trail too often I'll go for a larger target if I'm buying into a pivot um, like up there there's a cam pivot and this is our traditional pivot just there the PP so you'll see me extend my targets and maybe go for 10 ticks in those moves but I don't generally um, well I don't rarely will I actually trail right up here but I've now got another trade entry right here I've got both my one two one and see the white paint bar I've got another trade entry now just with that there uh, these I'm just hypotheticals you'll see the live trades I took in the moment here where would my stop loss go one tick below okay so one tick below away we go now just one thing I want to mention I don't know if you've noticed here and let me just show you this down here if you want to be conservative we can see over here that my long-term trigger line is up but the short term hasn't hooked yet now that's about to hook now so that means effectively if I want to be conservative now I have an entry now for this and I mentioned and let me just pull this up here you can trade this market here with um, uh, I'm using a three tick uh, Renko okay but here we look at the margin requirements and these are the things where we drill down and really look at our trading plan how much do we really need to be allowing to do this correctly well that's what this is all about so if you're trading uh, say with a uh, where are we um, you're using a let's just say an eight tick stop in total which you can do with this uh, you need a $2,000 account now ideally uh, you want to be allowing for a, a 10 tick stop means you need two and a half thousand oh, it doesn't show you that that's what you ideally need if you're trading either the 6a the Aussie currency futures which is five dollars a tick the RTY or the Dow so I've got all these tools that also that uh, my members have and actively use now our stop loss is under here now I, I believe you should be allowing up to a 10 tick stop here you can get away with an 8 tick stop in basically all of these setups here you could have easily got away with an 8 tick stop for members watching that you're entering on a buy stop or a sell stop using the super scalper only you're ignoring the anchor chart one candle okay so if you want to enter using the super scalper you can get away with a $2,000 account uh, which means you'll get there a lot quicker than the figures I've been showing you now one thing I want to point out here remember I mentioned there about the intraday swings where are the intraday swings we'll quite often look at this now we can see here we've come down here uh, here is a close swing they can make great targets now we come down here within oh, we were at three ticks within being stopped here now if you hadn't entered that trade using the super scalper you've now got another trade entry right there thank you very much if you're after your 10 ticks $50 a move okay uh, you still would have been in that one now we've achieved it now we're now as we're trending up here we're at, I now have what we call a 2b uh, sorry a 2d my apologies I've now got a great 2d just here and this is one of the live trades so let's now look at the anchor chart why did I take that trade well it's hard for you to tell this is called a zero lag MACD so you can set up a zero lag on any MACD if you've got TradeStation on NinjaTrader I've already got this coded if you've got a standard MACD I give you the settings you can model this virtually exactly with a standard MACD but what we've got here is a high high in price and a lower high and replicated also on my higher time frame so I've got a formula that 
I've discovered that works really well just through trading experience quite frankly nothing you know no brilliant mathematical equation there but I've just found uh, through experience just the ideal higher time frames to be using with your lower time frames a simple formula that I use but here this is called a 2d great 2d uh, and down we go thank you very much we're out at this target now down here uh, we then pop up I've got um, what do we have there that was uh, t20-1 I forget the exact setup I had there so we had another trade entry now with this one uh, there's a t20-1 so that was the first setup after your t20 now with this down here traders I actually should have really taken profits down here look on the right there can you see there how I'm bouncing off the anchor chart one uh, 89 EMA I decided to stay with the trade we then kicked up uh, I'm with it was within one tick of being stopped out okay now let me just explain this when you're selling or buying into major support or resistance areas those areas are pivots your 89 and 200 EMAs here's a pivot here uh, look at the major EMA really I recommend and you'll see me usually take profits even if I'm not going to get my eight ticks per move now's the time to get out but what I had going for me was look at the trigger lines here both the short term and the long term are thundering down here and then I took a second entry here which is also a 2b based upon a short term hook back over I stayed with the trade and you can't see but down here I was exited all of these contracts some um, just down here traders this is not rocket science everything I'm showing you here for two B's for two D's um, uh, everything here are uh, 34 B's these are all patterns what you want to do as a brand new trader you need to learn to trade in the direction of the overall trend now how do you identify a trend that's where your tools your indicators can come very handy now at the same time you'll get setups like this as you saw that will be out in what I call no man's land what do we do here you could see then on the higher time frames we had major EMA bounces once again these are nothing more than patterns we see them every single day so traders we've covered a lot of information uh, in this session now using the overlay charts now if you're a member uh, go to the uh, Google Drive in the members area you'll find there I've got a folder there on how to and some videos there on how to set up your overlay charts uh, on your trading platform uh, then the settings that I use so going to the chart time frames and there's also uh, plenty of examples there of how to actually trade the overlay charts okay so example what exactly and you'll see there's a lot more type on the screenshots here exactly what we're looking for but where this is a game changer traders it makes it so much easier for identifying entry chart entries that is your entry chart in the direction of the higher time frame it really makes it so much easier so traders uh, we've covered a lot come and join me become a member come and join me in my classes and I'll teach you how to trade these setups I'll give you one month free in the coaching uh, room then after that one month if you wish to continue there's no automatic sign up by the way I do that deliberately just so you know you're not committing but you get all of my indicators is hundreds of hours of online instruction now by the way you don't have to watch all of those okay what you do it's what I call the Goldilocks rule when you first start day trading you focus on only a couple of setups which are the ones I've been showing you here except for the divergence setups you do not trade divergence when you first start day trading why divergence is harder to pick 
what you've got is a ton of these every day so why not simplify your trading master trend trading to begin with like there okay all of these all in the direction of a trigger line that one there is a deeper pullback but overall we're in an uptrend look at that there we're bouncing you focus on that and you develop from there so click on the link below come and join me thank you traders this was session was it 97 <laughs> and I'll see you of course in the next session and in the coaching room thank you traders